I'm going to try to improve this face a little bit. I have uh, was looking at the video last night, and this looks like a mustache, <laughs> his upper lip. And I don't want it to look like a mustache. So I've got to be working on that a little bit today. And uh, I'll try to improve on that look somehow. Time to play with some clay. Now, I'm not going to do his ears because uh, they're going to be covered by the headdress, so there's no need to go into that. I love his eyes. As somebody said yesterday in, in one of the comments, is it's almost like he's looking off into the distance and contemplating what's happened in his life, so to speak. He's uh, sad for what he's lost. As any conquered people would. Although, I think of the Native Americans as being victorious when so many were trying to wipe them out. And almost did. They tried to kill them with smallpox by infecting blankets, giving them in trade infected blankets to uh, spread smallpox among them, amongst them. When the uh, mountain men first came into our valley here, where I live in Montana, Jim Bridger and a bunch of uh, other trappers, all along the gravelies, which is just east of where I, or west of where I live, I live right at the foothill of the gravelies. They reported, wrote in their journals that uh, there were hundreds of burial scaffolds and most of the people had died from smallpox. And there are reports in the valley from people that on some of the ranches, there are still burial scaffolds. And they keep it secret because they don't want people bothering them, which is, I think, good. I can't put the horns on the headdress. I put them attached to the headdress just about behind the ear because uh, I just think that would probably work out better for his ears, <laughs> but I don't know. I'm looking at the photograph and uh, that headdress came down quite a ways. On his back. The head, headdress would come back as far as this. In fact, it would come down past his robe. Uh, it looks like it's about two to three feet long. 
So I'm thinking it would probably come down about middle of his back. And that's what I'm going to put it at. Looks like there's a disc right there. All right, I'm making the uh, ermine that will hang down from his headdress. And ermine are not this thin. But what they would do is they'd take the skin and make a rolled... They'd skin the animal, which is a long weasel-type animal. I used to live up on the mountainside here in the valley and... You'd see them all the time running around in the rocks and uh, pure white with a tail with a black end to it. But uh, anyway, that's uh, what they would look like. I'll uh, put a picture up here of one off the web. Anyway, they would wrap the one end with trade cloth and that's what they would hang the ermine from their headdress with. I count seven of these on each side and so that's what I'm doing right now just making the ermine that will be hanging and I got to figure out how I'm going to do this and make it castable. Okay, I've, I've filled in here so that I can start attaching these uh, ermine to the uh, headdress. I'm not using any armature in the uh, arm. I think I can get away with not having to do that. Of course, I could be wrong. Been wrong before. I think I'm going to have them holding a pipe bag, but I don't know yet.
I think I will put the tail of the buffalo on it. Kind of like that. Plus, I'll have to work out the texture of the tail. Anyway, I'm going to stop with, with that right there because uh, I want to work on that a little bit more. I like the position of that arm now. I think that's going to work out just fine. All right, that's going to be it for today. And uh, I will pick this up tomorrow. And uh, we'll finish this arm. I want to have that s solidify overnight. And uh, then I'll start putting some detail in. I kind of like the texture I've got on this body. It's uh, It kind of it indicates age. You know, without, I might add some more wrinkles and stuff like that to his skin. I don't know. But uh, I'll put fur texture on the uh, headdress. I'll put the uh, work on that tail to make it to look more like a buffalo tail. And uh, finish off this arm here. And try to figure out what I'm going to do with this hand. If I'm going to have him holding something or... You know, he could be... Well, let me think. I've got an idea in my ear, head right now. I could have him holding a spear. Not this thin, but that could that could be an idea. I'll have to think about that. All right. Good night, everybody. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.